Hi guys, this is Crafty Cat, or Kathy. How are you today? Thank you for joining me. So, in my very first ever um, episode on this channel, I showed you a dollar store haul that I got. And I explained that I am brand new to diamond painting and to having a crafting channel. So, I got obsessed with diamond painting, with the idea of diamond painting, about two weeks ago. And I ordered a bunch of kits online. They didn't come in as fast as I would like. And then in the meantime, I watched a billion of your videos on YouTube. And someone said, you know what? When you're starting out, don't go order a bunch of kits. Oops. I had already done it. She said, go to the dollar store and see if you like it. So I went, I didn't even know I could get kits at the dollar store. I mean, who knew? So I went to the dollar store and I found um, some kits, including these two. So there's this little Christmas tree kit. It is, I thought it was 6 inches by 6 inches, but it is 7.5 inches by 6 inches. And the same with this one. They're both by the same brand. And I, I just cut out the front from the box because I didn't want to keep two boxes. So they were only $2 each. And I thought, hmm, you know, they're partial drills. I learned that from watching all of your videos. And there's hardly anything on here. This will take me half an hour to do. Yeah, right. So I started this tree one last night at around 11 p.m. You know, I couldn't sleep. I thought, this is, this is supposed to be relaxing. Let's try it. So I did it in bed because I'm in bed right now. I am not feeling that great. I'm just feeling really um, run down because I've been staying up late, get crocheting a lot and just doing different crafts for Christmas. So I just use this little pillow thing that I usually use for my iPad and my phone. And I thought I'll use that <laughs> to do diamond painting on. And it worked. But it wasn't probably the brightest idea in the world to do that because these kits came with these trays. And I didn't even really look at the trays other than to say, oh, cute, looks like a little Barbie-sized pizza tray or serving tray. I didn't notice there weren't any lines in here. It's completely smooth. Or if I did notice when I opened, I don't. I didn't remember I mean, I'm 57 years old. My memory is not great. So, in all of the uh, videos I've watched on your channels, you guys, these are some of my leftover drills, you pour the drills in, and then you give them a little shake. So I did that. Guess what happened? Drills all over my bed. So I picked them all up. Well, half an hour later, I did it again. <laughs> so then I thought, you know what? <laughs> These are very cute for maybe Barbie pizza pans, but they're not good for me. So I did get something else come in um, from Amazon yesterday. So I opened one of the boxes off camera and I pulled this out. And I will do an opening on camera for what I got. This was part of a package. So this was a lot better, but when I shook it, they still flew out because I shook too much. Or if I went like this and tapped it, they boinged out. So I did have to learn what to do. So I spent a lot of my time picking up little drills from all over the place. But other than that, I enjoyed it. It took me about two and a half hours to do this one last night. And I thought this one would go faster because I already had experience from last night. So I did this one today because I wanted to get it done. And this one took me about three and a half hours. And I don't know whether, whether it was because I was tired or because I'm sore. I, I don't know. But it took me way longer. And while I was almost finished this one, I just had a few little of the white ones to go back in. Like, I was almost completely done. I heard a delivery truck arrive. And a parcel from Amazon came. And it was the stuff that I had been waiting for. Which I bought this because the other stuff wasn't coming in. The other stuff was supposed to come in on the 15th, which is today. But yesterday, Amazon, or two days ago, Amazon changed it and said, it's running late. Now it's not going to come until the 20th. So I thought, wait. I can't wait till the 20th. So that's why I went out and bought these. But it came in on the 15th, and now I have the stuff that I did order. So anyway, before I show you what these look like, I want to show you all of the drills I had left. Before I forget. So they give you lots, and some of them were disfigured. Some of them were too small, and some of them were too big. Some of them were stuck together. But most of them were okay. And, um... Yeah, so that's all the leftovers, and there's no numbers on these, so you know how 
on your channels you show me the beads and the beads have this little special number I can't remember the name of it is it DMC and that coincides with the same um, lot color lot as it does for embroidery I think yeah that doesn't happen for here anyway so I just put them in baggies and I still have some leftover wax and the pens I've got the two little pens oh and I was gonna say I don't know if I already said it I'm really tired sorry I've heard a lot of you say what are you guys gonna do with all these plastic things if you have friends who make dollhouse miniatures I bet you they would love getting all of your little plastic trays because they're really good at making things I mean this would make a nice Barbie sized cookie tray or put a little pizza in here and these ones I have no idea what they could do with them but I am sure that those clever people who make dollhouse miniatures would come up with something to make so if you know anyone or if you go on Facebook and see a group post a picture of your stuff and ask if they want them uh, for those of you who are saying you'd like to get rid of them but don't know what to do all right so here now is my first ever diamond painting kit from the Dollarama <laughs> this was my first time ever so I say that as a 57 year old woman who just did a child's kit that this is my very first kit and look the green sparkles I'm surprised I didn't think a dollar store one would sparkle I don't know if my camera's picking it up but it's pretty sparkly so the yellow and all the colors are sparkly the white to me with the naked eye it is sparkly but I don't know if the camera's picking it up but it's not as sparkly as the other colors anyway that's my very first ever diamond painting and it looks like a card but it's not it's on cardstock it was very sticky it's still very sticky so that one was done last night and finished in the early hours of this morning and here is the second one which I did this afternoon oops a little snowman and he's very cute I really like the presents and his hat and the pattern said that his nose should be red, but I made his nose orange because a snowman nose is a carrot. Everybody knows that. So I gave him an orange nose. Now the one thing, I don't know if you can tell on the nose. See the third dot in on the nose? I don't know if I can point. Right there. You see that little bit of white? Every one of these dots underneath has a little black circle filled with white. So it was really hard. To cover all the white the only easy part was the white because it was white but yeah it was really hard to cover all the white so you might see some white spots but I'm a beginner and that's okay and I just walked up all the blue ones I'm gonna have to fix it they're still very slidey I did try to go and push them all down but I had to use this because my hand was sticking to it I'm, I'm sure there's an easy way to push it down I think I'll figure it out anyway those are my first two and what was I going to say it's all gone now out of my head oh man oh I don't know if I'm gonna keep these because they're my very first or if I'm gonna turn them into Christmas cards because you could easily put this onto cardstock or poster board or even construction paper and make your own little Christmas cards but maybe I should keep them because they're my very first ever Oh, I know. I was going to ask you, how do you do this without killing your neck and your shoulders and your back? I, I don't think I've ever been in so much pain as I am today. I had to take Tylenol. I'm, I'm just so sore. It's just, I crochet. I, I've been crocheting for hours every day. I do other crafts, but this, I guess it was just, maybe I shouldn't be doing it in bed. But I had it propped up on a pillow in front of me and I was leaning back on pillows and I don't know. Maybe doing it for four hours in a 24-hour span is too much to start with. But I tend to get pretty obsessive when I like something. And I obsessively order kits, so I need to get good at this fast. But I think they're cute. For Dollar Star Crafts, I mean, for $2 each, I got two and a half hours worth of pleasure and frustration from this one. And three and a half hours of pleasure and frustration from this one. So, and relaxation. And I did kind of get into a zone. Oh, I remember, I remember what I wanted to tell you. I said that I just started this at the age of 57, but as I was diamond painting, 
I found that when the stickiness was starting to go away on the pen, and I was trying to see how much I could go before I had to refill it again, I had the strongest sense of deja vu. Like, I've done this before. Was this out when we were little kids? Like, if anyone's my age, I'm 57, did we have something like this when we were little girls and I just don't remember? Because I vividly, vividly remember the fun of, oh, let's see how far I can go before I have to reload the wax. And as far as I know, I have never done this. But I've always been into arts and crafts, so maybe someone bought me a kit when I was a little girl and I did it and I just don't remember. Anyway, that's it. So thank you so much for spending time with me. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit that like button. Please subscribe or leave your comments. Every little bit helps. I'm a brand new channel. Um, and I'm hoping to get better as I go along. So please bear with me in these early days. All right, guys. I want you to take care and stay safe. Bye for now.